Hi everyone, it's Miss Charlene again with another Safari Story Time. This week we are going to be visiting the zoo, or pretending we're visiting the zoo, and I tried to find a book that dealt with all the different zoo animals. Actually, they live everywhere too, but also in the zoo. This is a really beautiful story also. It's called The Sleeping Gypsy by Mordecai Gerns Gerstein. And as you can see on the cover, there's all types of animals around this young girl. This is based on a book, uh, a painting by Rousseau, who's a famous painter, and it explains why he painted the picture, but it is a children's book. It's very, and I loved the pictures. It's a sweet, soft story too. One night, Harry, Henry Rousseau dreamed of a girl walking alone in the desert. All day, the girl and the sun had traveled in opposite directions. Now behind her, the sun silently, um, silently descended. Before her, under a dome of darkening sky, she saw endless hills of soft sand tinted pink by the twilight. It's really pretty. Look how pretty that is. That's her shadow and she's looking, wow, she's got a long way to go if she's going in the desert. The girl came to a river. She filled her clay bottle with water and sat on the warm, soft sand. From her cloth bundle, she took bread, sweet dates, and tarts, salty cheese. She ate and drank. One by one, the stars appeared. I thought she's had such a pretty face. There she is with the stars behind her. And then this is a beautiful scene too. I can imagine like a dark sky and the sun and the stars. The girl picked up her mandolin and as her fingers plucked and pressed the strings, she sang. Her voice seemed to bring the stars closer as if they were leaning down to hear. When her song ended, she heard its echoes singing to other echoes, which sang to others farther and farther till she could hear no more. She lay down on the soft, warm sand and shut her eyes and fell asleep. She has her, her a bottle of water and her mandolin next to her and she's just sleeping out on the sand. Slowly, shyly, the moon rose like a lonely eye, curious, watching. Near her feet, a lizard squatted, staring at her toes. Uh-oh, let's hope she doesn't, doesn't, lizard doesn't bite the toes. A rabbit hopped and waited till she was close to the girl's face. They're curious to see with this young girl in the desert. A snake slithered up. I've never heard a song like that, she said. Where did this girl come from? Where is she going, asked an ostrich who joined them. Why is she here, asked the lizard. What's her name, asked a young mother baboon. Is she a lost tourist, asked the moon. Maybe she is a musician looking for an audience, suggested the rabbit. Has she run away from home, asked the snake. Is she a princess looking for her prince, a tortoise asked. She is mine, roared a lion who leaped from behind a dune. Oh, look at that scary lion. He stood over the girl, his mane full of moonlight, and sniffed at her hair. See, so as you can see, these animals can be found in zoos, actually in the deserts we did last week, too. The ostrich then noticed a figure coming from the far left. Now, who can this be, she said. The others turned and saw it, too. It was a man. Is that a tour guide, asked the baboon. Is it the prince, asked the lizard. Is it her audience, asked the moon. I hope it's a lion hunter, said the lion. Come up to be eaten up. That lion doesn't look very friendly, but you'll see what happens later. It doesn't look very friendly, though. It was a man carrying a wooden case. He wore an artist's beret. Good evening, he said. I am Henry Rousseau. We are all in a dream. It is my dream. The girl is here as are all of you so that I may paint a picture. So he brings out an easel with paints and he squeezes the paints on his little um, board and he's gonna start painting. There he is starting to paint. You lion, just stay where you are and lift your tail a bit. Baboon, stay to the left. Rabbit, move to the right, next to the tortoise. Ostrich and snake, raise your heads please. And what shall I do, asked the moon. Just smile and continue to do what you are doing, said the artist. And he studied the arrangement and he started to paint them. That's what artists do. They want it perfect when they paint. After a while, the baboon, not able to contain her curiosity, came up and said, You've made my nose too big. Hmm, said Rousset, a scripter out of the picture. The snake then came over and said, You may be too fat. I'm not that fat. He scraped her out of the picture. The, the, um, and raised her out of the picture too. The rabbit and tortoise joined the others. 
The girl is too ugly, said the tortoise. My ears are too short, said the rabbit. Make the guitar bigger, said the ostrich. I think it should be smaller, said the lizard. And they were arguing about what they thought was wrong with the picture. So he erased them all off the picture. Uh-oh, they're, they're not in the picture anymore. Paint my mane beautifully, the lion said, or you will be my breakfast. I guess I would too. The hours passed. Henry stepped back from his painting, tilted to the right and squinted. I'll finish the painting in the morning. He wiped his brushes, repacked his easel, said good night and thank you all, and he left. The animals watched him disappear among the dunes. Then they wandered off, each in their own directions, leaving the girl sleeping by herself. All except the lion. I think this is so pretty. All except the lion. He stood watch over the girl until the first flare of sun appeared at the edge of the desert. So he wasn't going to hurt her. Look at what a gentle, look how gentle he looks now, protecting her. And then she's kind of waking up and touching his mane. Now this is cool. Back in Paris, where Henry Rousseau, Rousseau awoke, remember he was dreaming. This was his dream. And the girl of the lion in the desert all faded away. Rousseau stretched, got out of bed, and put the finishing touches on his picture. And that is a famous picture that he actually painted. And it was just the lion and the girl like he left it in his dream. So that's kind of a cool think about this, though. So it's kind of, you got to think about this story, but we, we think when we read. So he was dreaming about what, this was really his dream. It wasn't, didn't really happen. It happened in his mind. And in his mind, this all happened. And so it was the lion that ended up in the picture because he was the only one that didn't complain. We can learn from this. Remember, one thought he was too fat, one thought he was too skinny. You know, we always worry about how we look. And that's not important in life. It's not how we look, it's how we are. So they ended up out of the picture. The lion was the only one that wanted his mane to be pretty, but he didn't complain. And that's the story of the sleeping gypsy. And if you really look online, you will see this a work of art. It's a famous work of art, art, art by him. I just thought it was such a soothing, pretty picture when I first saw that. And, that, and I hope you had a good time listening to this one. Some of them, you might, why don't you think, I want you to think a little bit about, too, when we're reading, not just cutesy, fun stories. Now, when you come to the library this week, since we're talking about painting and easels, I'm going to have these in a bag for you. You're going to get your own paint pad. I'm going to give you a packet of watercolor paints. And just like animals, animals have uh, paw prints, okay? Every type of animal has a little different paw print. People have hand prints and fingerprints. So what I thought you could do, which would be fun, is just draw a picture or use, I, I drew this because I can't draw freehand. I kind of in pencil did it lightly and I just used my thumb and my finger and used my fingers to paint the picture. So you could do that. You could do a straight picture like that. I thought it was going to be cute. I just used my different fingers for prints to make it look like balloons. You can do a whole lot of things like that, whatever you'd like to do with this. Um, but you don't even have to use your fingerprints if you don't want. Um, but I thought it was kind of cool. You can do whatever you want with this. So this is going to be available this week.